Alright guys and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Today we're taking out the Sheridan, the M551. Now this thing, the Sheridan, is is good. It's classed as a light tanking game, so it gets a, uh, I think a camouflage bonus. But the thing about the light tanks is they don't get an accuracy uh, like debuff when turning the turret or moving forwards and backwards. So that means this thing, going at 60 kph, can traverse its turret 180 degrees, going 60 kph, don't turn, just going straight, turn the turret, fire with as, as much accuracy as it would staying still. It's really, really just... I do think that needs to be changed, the light tank ability to do that, which is a bit... You can see there, the reticle is not enlarging. Only when I traverse the turret, uh, the hull, does it get bigger. But look at the accuracy on the move. It, it's absurd. I mean, this is a 152mm howitzer. I don't understand it. Oh, God. Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze for a second there. But... It's, it's, it's really good. I'm firing the armor-piercing, thin stabilized discarding Sabre rounds on this gun. I haven't got the better heat rounds yet on the upgraded gun. Still got the first gun, but I'm firing the APF-SDS rounds. Now, they have about about 500 pen, 480 or something pen, about 380 to 400 damage, which is really good for an 11-second reload, especially at Tier 4. This thing can penetrate anything at its tier. It's fairly accurate, and it, it gets that really good accuracy on the move as well as being quick and agile the only problem with this tank is it's just got no armor yeah that's that's fine because it's a light tank that's the only problem i have with this tank that's it i find nothing else is wrong with it it's an astonishingly good tank either this thing needs to have a nerf on the reload speed to about 20 seconds or 17 or it needs to be up tiered it's just that good the re the aim time's not even that bad either where is he? There he is. Fire. Missed though, sadly. That gun does sound awesome. Swing fire gets spotted and he just takes time. Starts getting hit. Swing fire is not very well armoured. If I'd have just saved my shot, I probably wouldn't have to have destroyed him. But I didn't I didn't know he was there, so you know, hindsight is is, is a good thing. Oops, spot him, spot him, turn around, fire the gun, boom, straight to the side. Quickly back. You see what they mean by the accuracy is just astonishing when turret burst in the turret. If that was any other game I'd traverse the turret, I probably would have missed, but light tanks don't lose accuracy when traversing the turret, which is really nice. But it does need to be changed, I think. I'm here with another Sheridan as well. Okay, we've been spotted. Alright. Six Sense is always enabled as well in the, in this game, so you'll always know when you've been spotted. Me and the Sheridan are going to push up. There's quite a bit down here. An M48 and I think a T64 a T62 is also here. Another Sheridan up there. Right, I don't want to pop over. Identify. Oh, oh my god, there's a load in here. Oh, oh, I took a bounce. I actually bounced something. Oh, straight through the turret. Oh. These a APFSDS rounds are really good. I've been designated as well. And I think desi designations are, are the AFV's ability. It's a three second E hold down on a spotted tank. And it, I think it makes so the damage done to that vehicle is greatly increased. Fire, boom, smack him as well with that massive round. But my designation has been lost, which is good. Because I don't want to be hit by Sheridan with a designation on. Oh, no, that would be painful. So, anyone else? Anyone else? There's the Sherry. Oh, that was an appalling shot there. I tried my luck, but didn't get it. I shouldn't have wasted that shot. Reload again. The reload speed is not slow for a 152 mil armor piercing gun it's not a howitzer well you could class it as a howitzer but it fires heat and armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabo not just hg oh t64 straight through the side he misses me as well back up i you can get smoke grenades as well on this thing but i hadn't unlocked them yet which are really helpful i think they're one shot use uh, you fire them and then you instantly become unspotted took a hit there took my first hit they're really helpful those smoke grenades if you're in a sticky situation you need to escape you launch them pressing G on the keyboard, they launch, and it makes you unspotted for about 15 seconds or so, and it's a really good way to get out of the area, especially with this tank, M60A5, tier 5 heavy tank here with EAR, ERA, artillery, there you go, showing that I've just been fired at, this guy's coming over and he's he's about to destroy him, coming over, I want to say get this sh Sheridan off on fire, the 152mm howitzers accuracy is not fantastic. And the M60A5 has finished him off and is moving on. Now, that ERA on that, that 
pattern there is really helpful at stopping HE and heat rounds. Not so good against armor piercing rounds such as this gun, but most people fire heat with the upgraded gun because the heat rounds are about four, 330 pen and about 500 damage, which is really, really damn good for an 11 second reload as well. And you can see here the cross-country capability and the off-road abilities of this tank is also amazingly quick. Goes up and down hills really easily. You can scale the map with relative ease in this thing. Not a problem at all. Now there is an enemy arty up the back behind me and I, I don't don't really want to go up there because he's being enveloped. There's a guy coming behind him and two in front. And I'm just sitting here thinking, well I could go around here and just help out with the guys around here. But arty gets spotted. I check if I can see him. Oh, he spots me. Okay, I can't actually see him. But the Sheridan sometimes is accurate. And as you saw there, just hit him eventually. That swing fire also had a shot at me. You saw the ATGM lock on screen up here. But I managed just to dodge him by traversing the hull out the way of the rocket. And that's the game. That's how quick these games can go in Armored Warfare. They're so much faster than in World of Tanks. That was a six minute game or so out of 15. That's pretty damn fast, I do say. And now we're going to go to the results screen. So I really like the Sheridan. I, I like it. I, I, it's inevitable it's going to be nerfed. So don't come to Armored Warfare in the OBT or buy yourself an early access pack thinking the Sheridan in the next test is going to be the same it is now because it's going to be hit hard. I only did 12, uh, 2,100 damage though, four assists and a kill. So, you know, wasn't fantastic, but we did hold up the flank quite nicely. It was quite a good game. And we quickly pushed around and won the game for us. So, guys, thank you for watching this Sheridan gameplay. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.